The Wayward Realms is an upcoming grand RPG being developed by some of the OG developers of the Elder Scrolls games, and they just released their second teaser trailer for the game. In a few seconds, I'm going to let the trailer play out with no commentary, but if you want to skip right to the discussion on a variety of topics that I'm going to have in this video, I will leave chapter markers below. Let's jump right in. Hush your candy-striped lips, for nighttime comes. The soft beat of starlings echo like distant drums. Breathe more still. Close your empty, heavy eyes. Even the stars above are but half remember the lies. Sleep, fool child. And while you sleep, waken and see the world that has been taken. Once swamps return to Goblin Kin, once seven return to ten. When she's towers and stores, stone tremble to sarcanic roars. When the spirit blooms entire, when Diane bathes in fire. All truth and knowledge known, unlearn. Once lost and wayward dreams, return. So there you have it, the second trailer for The Wayward Realms. Now let's talk about what this game actually is. The Wayward Realms is planned to be an open world first person fantasy RPG, and the developers are calling it a grand RPG. The trailer you just watched was a cinematic trailer, which I did confirm to be with one of the devs, so it's not representative of actual gameplay. It does use some in-game assets though, such as the Golem and the Death Knight, and one of the main points of the trailer is to capture the tone that they're aiming for with the dungeons, so a dark, foreboding, and very dangerous atmosphere. I do also want to point out that the game is mainly a first-person game, which was the perspective from the trailer, but it is also planned to have support for the third-person perspective, something that many of you will be happy about. I would imagine that some of you are thinking that this game will be an Elder Scrolls VI, a Skyrim-like successor, but actually, the Wayward Realms seems to be more akin to the Elder Scrolls Daggerfall, and considering that a few of the main devs for the Wayward Realms played large roles in the creation of the Elder Scrolls Daggerfall, this seems to be the game that we can compare it to right now. Daggerfall was an RPG that came out in 1996, and it was created with a lot of procedural generation technology. In simpler terms, there's a system for the world's creation that will randomly pull assets from large asset pools, and then autonomously assemble and place those assets into the game's world. The devs of course have to create the base assets and also set parameters so that things actually make sense, which is a ginormous task in and of itself. But after that has been done, the game can in some ways create itself. Many things in Daggerfall, such as the dungeons, towns, forests, NPCs, monsters, loot, and even many of the side quests are created this way, while other things still do require some handcrafting and hand placement, such as the main quest and some of the main cities. Daggerfall is known for its massive seamless map size, and one YouTuber actually took it on himself to walk the complete map, taking him 61 hours and 54 minutes. Now let me read you this passage from the Wayward Realms Steam page. A massive world. No, really. Way bigger than most other games you can think of. Big cities with hundreds or thousands of NPCs. Deep, dark, dangerous forests. Gigantic mountain ranges. Sprawling swamps and marshlands. Vast oceans and more brought to life through dynamic procedural generation. 
Now that you understand how Daggerfall was created, you can probably have a better understanding as to why the devs could say something like they did in that Steam passage. In the game's first teaser trailer, we got to see a knight on horseback on the edge of a cliff overlooking a vast landscape. Although that trailer is also not indicative of actual gameplay, or at least they didn't say anything about that, you can still get an idea as to what to expect for the vastness of the world. Now of course, a large map certainly doesn't make a game good, and procedural generation can oftentimes lead to lackluster experiences. But still, overall for its time, Daggerfall was quite impressive, and who knows, perhaps the Wayward Realms can give us Daggerfall 2.0, with probably 30 or more years of technological advancement behind it. All right, more about the game. The Steam passage below that says, constantly evolving experience and story. A virtual game master keeps things interesting for you, making other characters and their factions react and plot their next move based on your actions, resulting in no two players having the same game experience. World events have very different effects in the life of a socializing aristocrat, a thief entrenched in underworld conspiracies, a scholar collecting ancient artifacts, or whatever role you can craft for yourself. So obviously the choices that you make in this game will have real consequences on basically everything around you. And combine that with procedural generation, and I can see how two players could have entirely different experiences. In Daggerfall, it is said that there are still some quests that no one has ever discovered. Now, I don't know if that's actually true, but I've read it in multiple places. Now, of course, if you want a game like this to actually be good, it's going to take a ton of work. And many of you might have the feeling that this could end up being a too good to be true case, and I think that's actually a perfectly fine feeling to be experiencing. But at the same time, we really haven't given the devs a chance yet. And perhaps even if they're able to pull off some of what they're claiming, it could still turn out to be a really cool and unique fantasy RPG. I know that I myself am ready for something different in this genre. Leaving Steam and heading over to the Wayward Realms website, I want to read you this quote. The Wayward Realms aims to revivify the RPG genre by applying modern development standards and quality of life advancements to the design philosophy of classic role-playing games. Now, honestly, I feel like we hear statements like this a lot these days. My game's going to bring back the old school feeling when RPGs were so, so great, but we're going to do it with a modern touch. So hearing that doesn't mean as much to me anymore. But with this game, I'm more inclined to actually believe it. The reason being is that the devs at Once Lost Games, which is the name of the studio making this game, are actual OGs of the industry, perhaps some of the biggest OGs around. Julian Lefay is the game's technical director, and he is referred to by some as the father of the Elder Scrolls. Julian was one of the four original employees at Bethesda Softworks. Ted Peterson is the lead designer, and he was also a designer for the Elder Scrolls Arena and Daggerfall, and a writer for Morrowind and Oblivion. Vijay Lakshman is the executive producer, who was a director, designer, and producer for the Elder Scrolls Arena, which was the game before Daggerfall. So yeah, hearing all of that is pretty exciting. It kind of sounds like a dream team for the Wayward Realms. But what I should quickly point out though, is that even though this is definitely old news at this point, the fourth original member of this team was a guy named Ian Phoenix, who was the marketing director. Ian ended up leaving the project and eventually writing an article on why he left. Dun dun dun. Now keep in mind that this article was released in September of 2020, I believe, so things could have drastically changed since then. And honestly, you never know what to believe these days on the internet. Ian basically said that he left the project for reasons such as the game having no clear direction. Some of the devs seemed to be too busy outside of the game to put in the necessary work. Unrealistic goals, lack of communication, etc among a few other statements that may be a bit more on the drama side, but don't worry, nothing on the level of Blizzard Entertainment or anything remotely like that. I think from a consumer perspective, one of the biggest concerns about this game, and of course one of my concerns as well, kind of align with what Ian has said here. Is this project just too ambitious and too good to be true? Well, according to Ian, it kind of started off that way. Now, Ted Peterson did respond to this, and he didn't outright dismiss what Ian had said, and he even openly admitted that it will be a rocky road at times. The difference with Ted, though, is that he said that this is more of a matter of perspective. 
A new indie studio taking on a seemingly huge project is going to have its fair share of problems. And Ted made this clear. Overall, both parties were respectful to each other, so take that as you will. Now, it is quite possible that there's not a ton of progress with this game. We really just have no idea until we see like some in-game footage. So there's still a chance that this game may never even come to light, or maybe they're still in a phase of trying to attract some capital to get the resources to really start making it. Obviously, if they told me that they have in-game assets in the trailer, they have been working on some things. And over on their Twitter, they have also been pretty active talking about lore and stuff like that. And now that they've dropped this trailer, it's, I mean, it's better than them being silent. So I'm going to keep an open mind about this project and I'm excited to see what the future becomes. Hopefully it's good. I could probably do an entire section on the lore of the game and what to expect in that regards, but I think I'll save that for another video if that's something that interests you. If you want me to recap everything that we've learned, definitely let me know below. I do love doing videos just like that. So let me know below what your thoughts are on the Wayward Realms. Do you think it's too good to be true? Are you excited for it? Are you excited and you think it's too good to be true? Or do you just dismiss this game and think it's really never going to be something? I'd be curious what your guys' thoughts are. Be on the lookout for more RPG content. And of course, I'll keep an eye on the Wayward Realms and keep you guys updated. Until next time.